Well, hey there, Virgo. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, Virgo for the week of January 17th. If this one isn't resonating with you so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. If you are a cross watcher, meaning that you are dealing with the Virgo, go ahead and assign the roles as they make sense to you. They could be flip-flopped or vice versa. If you're looking for your own private reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box. I do $50 readings, which are a deep dive into a relationship or a question or a situation. Um, they're pretty much exactly like what I do here on YouTube. I also have $75 readings for more complex situations. Uh, 10 questions, it really allows you to get to the bottom of a situation. Uh, I will be doing an extended reading here. You can get that by clicking the join button. It's 10 bucks. You can access to all of the extendeds for every single sign. Um, if you're on an iPhone, it won't show up. You have to be on a desktop because of Apple and Google shenanigans. All right. We're looking at the overall energy here. Then I'm going to pull cards for your person as well as you, and then clarify in real time for you. Um, what I'm seeing here in the overall energy, it's someone having a change of heart about you. Uh, we have new directions for your oracle. Sort of like the wind blowing in a different way. I love how it's dandelions on top of that balloon. Very pretty. We have the maiden here. So this is from the Sacred Cycles Oracle. Maiden Mother Crone. I don't know if you've ever heard of these. Uh, they're witchy concepts. The threefold goddess. Uh, if you think about all of the life stages a person goes through, um, being a maiden is often being young. So I'm not sure if there's an age difference between the two of you or a maturity difference. The maiden can also represent seeing something with fresh eyes, um, like a, a youthful kind of innocent, new beginnings, uh, fresh energy coming into a situation. And we have, I like you. Someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. I think this is someone who rejected you in the past. We've got the four of cups in reverse. Four of cups in the upright is not seeing an option or an opportunity, um, not accepting an offer of love, someone who maybe didn't notice you or someone who outright rejected you, or someone who pulled back on a, uh, a relationship with you. We've also got the seven of wands, which is boundaries and barriers. You can see he's behind bars here. I'm not saying this person was in prison, but it's someone who's keeping themselves separated from you. And that's about to flip here. We've got both the page of wands and the page of swords. Pages are often about communication so this person pretty much is desperate to talk to you. They want some communication here. Um, sometimes the pages are youthful or younger. So for some of you, there is an age gap. Page of Swords is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Page of Wands is Leo, Sag, Aries. So Page of Swords, you can see he's standing on the stack of books. And he's wearing like a graduation costume. It's curiosity it's someone doing their homework on you. They wonder what you're up to. They could be watching you on social media, driving past your house. Um, swords is air energy. It's thought, logic, communication. They're thinking about you, talking about you, wondering about you. Page of Wands um, is sometimes about taking a new path. You see how he's got like a magnifying glass here? This is also someone taking a, a different look at this. They're taking a closer look at you, a closer look at this relationship, and I think they're wanting to change things up. So let's delve into their energy and see what's going on. Okay, here's what came out so far, and then I'm going to clarify everything uh, with, I think that's the everyday tarot. All right, so we've got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Pentacles is often giving to a situation. Pentacles are about our time, our effort, and our energy. 
in the reverse, this is someone who didn't give to you. They didn't reciprocate your feelings maybe, or they weren't willing to give you as much time as you were giving them. This could have been like a situationship. We've got the seven of cups, which is illusions, delusions, confusion, someone whose judgment wasn't necessarily clear. Sometimes the seven of cups is someone having different options. Um, it's sort of like shiny object syndrome sometimes with the seven of cups and the king of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy. So there could be an air sign definitely in the mix. King of swords is very head over heart. Maybe they didn't think it was very smart to pursue you, um, even though they felt something here. The king of swords is very good at drawing boundaries. But look at this. We've got the strength card, Leo energy, being bold, being brave, uh, finding your courage. Sometimes the strength card is often about the body, and sometimes it's having a physical reaction to someone, having a physical relationship. So I want you to keep that in mind. Um, the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's very romantic. Uh, the Knight of Cups is often like, I think about it in terms of like early dating or courtship. Um, they're texting you all the time and bringing you flowers and taking you for coffee and staying up all night talking to you. The, the Knight of Cups is super romantic Romeo kind of energy, Romeo and Juliet. And the magician, Aquarius, Aries, Gemini. Uh, this is somebody definitely being very intentional here. Uh, they know that they can pursue this relationship if they want. They're bringing out the big guns. They may say wonderful things to you. Uh, the magician is very good with the words. It's associated with Mercury. Mercury is about communication. We are also in a Mercury retrograde next week. And sometimes that will bring things around. It'll circle things around, uh, especially when there's unfinished business. All right, so let's clarify all of this. All right, tell me about Virgo's person. Okay. Well, we definitely have communication here. Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You've had Page of Cups, Page of Wands, Page of Swords. This person really wants to talk to you. That Knight of Cups can be someone showing up on your doorstep too. Sometimes uh, the Knights are about traveling or pursuing something. Six of Wands, they would love your attention. They want your affection. They want to win you over. They want you to notice them. Six of Wands is often like showing off um, someone who wants to impress you. They want you to see them as worthy. We've got the Five of Cups in reverse, letting go of the past. They're probably regretting their actions, what they did, not taking you up on the opportunity while they had the chance. They've got some buyer's remorse here about that. Whoa, all right, we've got the King of Pentacles showing up. We've got the Four of Cups in reverse. We've got the Eight of Wands showing up and the Judgment card. Let's talk about all of those. Okay, so Eight of Wands is movement, it's momentum, it's messages coming in. You definitely have communication here. We've got the four of cups in reverse. Again, being offered something and then not taking the person up on the offer. Now they're fearing like that they missed out. Um, they're seeing what's available to them now. They don't want to miss out on an opportunity. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. This could be you. This could definitely be your energy. Like they're thinking about you so much that you're showing up around them. Or you're dealing with another earth sign here and the judgment card. It's bringing something back to life that was dead. If you think about judgment day or making a big decision, sometimes it can mean the resurrection of a relationship. All right, let's take a look at you. Okay, so <laughs> we've got more pages showing up. Um, like this is kind of like they're seeing you differently. They wanna communicate with you. 
they've had some realization here. This is kind of like a 180 here. It's kind of stunning. The Knight of Wands is Leo Sag Aries energy. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. Knight of Wands is extremely charming. This could very well be someone like showing up on your doorstep, um, sending you flowers or something, something kind of over the top. We've got the Justice card here, Libra energy. You could be dealing with a Libra. The Justice card is also about someone speaking truth, being honest, bringing balance back to the situation, making amends or making something right. Eight of Wands, which showed up earlier, it's definitely communication. Um, you have a lot of like wind blowing in a different direction things here too. That started out with that new direction card and that Eight of Wands. It's almost like this person's like heading back towards you. Ace of Wands, the start of a passionate new cycle. Wands are often like very fiery, action-oriented uh, energy. It's pursuing something. It's going after something that you want. Um, it'll show up whenever you're trying to get like ahead at work or you want a new house or you're working on your resume. It's, it's really like, let's do something here. Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I love that she has the little fish in the cup. Um, that's very sweet communication. They may start out very small with you and just say hi or how are you doing or I was thinking about you and kind of judge from there. Sometimes the Page of Cups is like tiny little communication, sort of testing the waters. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. That's an offer of some sort. Um, they want to see this romance bloom. They want to give you their time and their energy and their effort. Um, I just think that this is going to kind of happen out of the blue here for you. It is also possible that this person has had lots of offers, um, lots of other people, and now they're settling on you. We've got the Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. That's you. Um, doing what's in your own best interest, knowing your value, knowing your worth. It's also about stability in a relationship or someone who wants a stable relationship with you. We had the King of Pentacles earlier, so I'm not sure if that's their energy or yours. All right, we've got... Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, and we've got the Nine of Swords in reverse, letting go of worry and anxiety and fear. So Queen of Cups is making someone an offer. It's being very open to love, being very intuitive here. You may have water in your chart. They may have water in theirs. Again, this person may have had other options and now they're settling on you. We've got the nine of swords in, in reverse is letting go of worry and fear and anxiety here. I feel like they, they're they worried that they've missed an opportunity and it's almost like they're going to go over the top in order to get you back or to get your interest again. All right. Uh, let me know down below if it resonated. If it didn't, go ahead and check out your moon and Venus. If you want to order your own private reading, you can find that info down below. Uh, click the join button if you would like the extended reading. It won't show up if you're on an iPhone. You have to be on a desktop. I'm going to explore this person's feelings for you, some advice for you, and also the actions they will take. All right. Blessed be.